Residents of Yachesfontein are being evacuated following a mine dam burst in the area. A search and rescue operation is underway to locate the, those who've been reported missing. Let's take you now to a media briefing that is currently being held by Minerals and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe. that judges must uh, revisit the judgment they gave on Tadas one day. Uh, judge uh, Bentley and Judge Kruger uh, uh, gave a judgment that the BS is the owner of the dams. Number two, the decision of the Department of Land Lessons to other applicants was rescinded. And thirdly, that the MPRD provisions do not apply to tailing dams. And when this statement was given, we were convinced that it, is, it was wrong. We're still convinced that it is wrong. And the legal uh, successor to the minister was responsible at the time. And I think we should take over the responsibility and pursue this matter because it is a disaster indeed. Uh, that is what we are here. We are going to come back and join the team that is there. My, our team is already in Jagat Fontaine. The acting minister, Minister Kubai, uh, may visit that place, and he, he will still free to do so. The DG and the DM are going tomorrow morning to the place, so uh, hands on to this issue. On Tuesday, I will join that team. Uh, I'm not... Uh, uh, talking to the media to send an to send an impression that uh, I am centralizing things. I'm just declaring that because of this disaster, I'm cutting the trip short and come back home to be part of management of this disaster. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Minister. Um, through you, Minister, I think we can allow a few hands for any clarity seeking questions uh, before we, we then adjourn this session. Uh, members of the media, um, I think this, this is an opportune time for you to raise your hands for any clarity seeking questions that you'd like to put to, to the minister. Okay, I see two hands for now, Minister. Can we can we then take these two hands and, and then yes, we'll decide yes. on the way forward thereafter? First, Nongululego. Good afternoon, everyone. Nongululego from Daily Maverick. Minister, could you please repeat the numbers? Um, I missed just the, the first bit of your address in terms of um, the houses that were swept away and the, the the number of bodies that we recovered. Thank you. Okay, can we go to Mobile? Hi, Minister Mobile Zinzla from Roses. Um, Minister, just for clarity, um, so so this um dam, so who is, is exactly the owner of it? Um, as I understand that the um, it was uh, well the 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 uh, mine was um sold by DPS in in uh, 2010. So um who is the current owner Jenga Manji? And then also can you maybe just give us some some kind of um whether it's just color or um clarity really on so the impact on the humans and the environment um of 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 the substances that are in this dam because I would assume that they are toxic and whatnot. I mean what impact are you expecting here? Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Those are the two hands we have now. Okay. Um, let me repeat the, the numbers. Uh, it's a preliminary report. It's not concrete numbers, but the preliminary report indicates that, that 28 people with uh, minor injuries there are four people who are in hospital and very critical, and there are three to five suspected casualties. Uh, 
And that means as a report as fatalities. So that is still to be verified. Nine houses have been swept away and 20 houses have been completely damaged. That is, the, those are the numbers. Um, the judgment that I referred to, uh, uh, as I was talking to uh, was that okay to mobile is that the ownership of those dams was reinforced by the judgment by Judge Beckley and Judge Kruger and declared the the department as having no jurisdiction over those dams. Uh, but the issue is that it was the owner at the time was DBS. And therefore the judges said that is belong to DBS. So DBS had the responsibility and the right without interference to sell it to anybody. They have sold it to what is called Super Cologne Consortium, uh, which is uh, a consortium that bought those dams in 2010. Super Cologne Consortium. And, and the decision was that the department cannot grant licenses to other people because it is a property of a company. Uh, the Empire gave permission, therefore, do not apply to taking stamps. So, stamps. So, that is the judgment. But it would be irresponsible of hey, us baby. to close our eyes and hide behind this judgment. We are fully engaged on how to facilitate a uh, resolution of that crisis that we were confronted with in, in Charles Fontaine. And main, uh, the main announcement is that I'm also cutting my trip short. Thank you, oh. Minister. Um, Nongkululego, I would oh. like to assume that is a legacy hand. And can I ask uh, Garth and Alan to please mute? whilst we, 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 we continue with the session. Um, Mobile, your hand also came up and went down. I want to assume it is a legacy hand, um, unless you have a follow-up question. I see no further hands, excluding that of Archie. Are there any other hands, colleagues? I see no further hands, Minister. I, will, I would like to take Archie. Pahadi. Thank you so much, Penan uh, Pahadi from Newsroom Africa Minister. In an, in an event that you find that whoever the owner is of these particular dams um, and uh, preliminary investigations find that the owners should take responsibility, what kind of action could be taken against the owners? I find it difficult to hear you, Archie, but I hope the minister was able to, to, to get that question. Uh, minister, you are muted. As in, so he, he's spoken from underground. <laughs> Archie, I, I, I assume you're on the road. Can you repeat that question? Yeah, I'm on the road, definitely. I'm, I'm just asking, um, uh, let's, let's say once you understand the the full of ownership of the mine, who it is, and, and so on, uh, taking consideration, of course, the judgment and as well as whatever other considerations that the department will take. What could be the possible precautions for the miners, uh, I mean, uh, consequences for the owners of the mine after investigations? Okay, can you? Okay. Go? okay. Uh, and uh, your hands are still up. Do you have follow up questions? Nongulego? May not be there, Mobile? Yes, um, the minister forgot to answer uh, my impact question on um, this is what kind of impact can we expect um, on the uh, people and on the environment, given that um, the um, substan st substances in these dams are toxic. 
Okay, Nongolo okay. level is back. Okay. No. Minister? Okay. Um, actually, obviously, this is not the first disaster of this kind that we're facing. I don't know if you recall the Mars Spring disaster in Virginia a few years ago, uh, where was uh, uh, the burst of a slime stem. It's a similar uh, accident, and therefore that precedent is going to guide our action in dealing with this one. In other words, a company that is the owner will take a bigger responsibility, the state will assist in facilitating that action, because assumption is that it should have been in short. And therefore, uh, compensation on people who have uh, fatalities, compensation in terms of damage to property, will be taken as a responsibility of the company that owns the, 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 the slime stem. Uh, that is what will be taken. The impact on the environment, you see in Nobulet, uh, slime stems uh, are not, uh, let me put it uh, uh, crudely, they are not friends of the environment. They pollute, that's why they are damned, so that the impact is not widespread. It is limited and contained in where there are slime stems. That is mitigating against bad environmental impact. But once it bursts, the, 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 the environment is going to be impacted, people are going to be impacted, properties are going to be impacted. That is the reality that we'll be looking at. Thank okay, you. Thank you very much. Martin. Thank you very much, Minister. I see no further hands at this time. I would like to, to thank the Minister for, for, for engaging with members of the media and thank the members of the media for joining us at such a so, short notice. Uh, members of the media will be kept informed of the details of the minister's visit to the Chagas Fontaine area. area. Um, and at this point, I'd like to, to leave it there. Of course, that was Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mandashe briefing the media following that disaster in Yachos Fontaine in the Free State where that dam burst, of course, uh, that mine dam that burst, of course, um, we now know, uh, according to preliminary report, uh, the minister says, 28 people have minor injuries, four are critical and in hospital, three to five uh, are suspected uh, fatalities and, and that confirmation will still be made later uh, today. Nine houses have been swept away 20 completely damaged. Of course, the minister also addressing the ownership of that uh, dam uh, in terms of the operations. We do know that, of course, uh, that mine was operated by De Beers, and in 2010, De Beers sold it to a BEE company called Super Colong Consortium. The Itumeleng Community Trust was formed in 2011, which distributes uh, earnings gained from the mine and the tailings. Uh, and, and so he's obviously spoken about uh, concerns about just how toxic uh, the, the water that has now overflown into community space is. And he says that, you know, Slime Dam, of course, um, will have an impact on the environment, it also will have on an impact on the properties. This is, of course, a developing story. We will give you those figures that the minister mentioned that still need to be confirmed as and when they come in. Um, our reporters are on the ground, of course. Uh, it is a challenging time in that particular area because we do understand that the electricity has been affected, so um, there's not enough uh, connectivity. We've spoken to several people on the ground. We also know that NGOs are currently assisting people and we also know that evacuations and search and rescue are still continuing.